So my name is Mariah Cameron. I am 25 years old. I'm from Westchester, New York, and I run a jewelry business. It's called Trash Treasure Chest. lost a job and then the pandemic happens and then the, the shutdown happens and um, Broadway was shut down um, all theaters were shut down so acting was kind of looking like it wasn't going to happen for the rest of the year but in that time uh, and not because of the pandemic I had taken out papers on my business trash treasure chest so um, yeah but right before the pandemic I was kind of heading toward trash treasure chest um, and it was only during the shutdown that I was like, okay, I am running <laughs> now. Trash Treasure Chest um, is a new name, but not a new concept. I make jewelry and I repair jewelry. Repairing jewelry just uh, saves it from going into a landfill. Um, making jewelry out of different everyday items that I have. So um, I've got some really fun jewelry that's like made of actual litter. <laughs> And trash. When it comes to the social justice, however, I uh, have brought Trash Treasure Chest um, into this idea of uh, no one left behind, no thing left behind. My motto for Trash Treasure Chest is waste not, want for nothing. So when it comes to environmental justice, it's tied directly to racial justice. We can't talk about environmental change, we can't talk about climate change unless we talk about the elephant in the room, which is the fact that when we you know, uh, create spaces that are going to be designated for, for trash and leftovers, we tend to put black and brown people in those spaces as well. So trash treasure chest for me is a door. We don't throw anyone, anything that was deemed as discarded or wasteful or trash, we don't do that here. You know, We bring it back, we restore it, we repair, and we find the solution. Yeah, I would have to say that I feel like I've been just fortified and I've come into a real place of solidarity with my fellow man, but also within myself, uh, where I'm very, very, very sure that this is what life is going to look like for me till the very end. So, yeah, the very end of life. <laughs> 